Right, time for a quick 300 grand in Grand Theft Auto Online. No GTA money glitch, no sweat, no heist, just easy money. And at least 100 grand if it's noob friendly. Hi and welcome back. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. All right, players, gear up. Today we are going to accelerate through three thrilling time trials in Grand Theft Auto Online. And no, we're not just talking about racing, we're talking about cashing in on a not quite GTA 5 online money glitch that we all love and adore. First off, we're diving into the Storm Drain time trial where you can rev up in any vehicle of your choice. This challenge is all about finding the right rhythm between speed and control right in the heart of the urban jungle. We're going to navigate the not so complex maze of storm drains, showing you the fastest route and corners to cut. Next, we'll zip through the Vespucci Canals time trial, equipped with our fully upgraded RC Bandito. Here, precision is the key, and the joy of miniature mayhem is just a bonus. Don't be fooled, even though it's small, the Bandito can still pack a punch in your quest on how to make easy money in GTA 5 Online. And finally, we'll dash through the scenic North Chumash time trial trial for the HSW run. This challenge offers a beautiful but treacherous track, so if you've ever wondered about how to get free money in GTA Online, this is where we unearth that secret. Right, starting with the regular time trial, Storm Drain. No real gotchas to this one, it's just a straight drag, so let's dive right in. And we're on the Batty 801 this time, the cheapest superbike in the game. You can purchase one of these for 15k or find them on the street pretty readily. This one's been upgraded, but it's still a good budget option for noobs. And off we go. Squeezing the accelerator instead of jamming it on gives us a good start, then leaning back on the bike will give us a few extra miles. Dip the front while cornering, then lean back once we're straight. Sneak across the apex, but be careful here. And a quick shortcut as we ramp up. And squeaked it in with less than a quarter of a second to spare. Next up, the RC Bandito time trial, Vespucci Canals. And a few gotchas on this one. There can be traffic on the road, so we need to keep an eye out for that. Bridges pose a bit of a risk, and it's pretty easy to lose control as you ramp off. We need to keep an eye out for traction as we head over curbs, especially while cornering. This corner with the curb, up a hill, and a bit of a grassy knoll can prove mm, particularly challenging. And there are peds in a few places, so we need to be mindful of them too. Okay, let's do the whole run. As always, a fully upgraded Bandito is better. You'll need an arena workshop for that and there's a full guide in the description below. And here we go. Straight on the accelerator as soon as we're green, we've got a good straight run here, but NPCs will get in your way. Off the gas for the corner, no need for brakes, then back on it as you straighten up. first bridge jump and we'll need to keep our wits about us here. Then off the gas for the corner, again no brakes, but watch your grip then flat out through the car park. Ease off for the exit, then around to the left. Nice wide line for the next left, then flat strap for the next little bit. And this is what I mean with the ramping. Super easy to come on stock and back on track. Right, this little blighter. Slightly downhill, so let's grip over a curb onto the grass. This could probably be done quicker, but we're still good. Remember to steer into the roll for your recovery. Pedestrians and a rolling risk, and the surface is pretty uneven through the back alleys. The Bandito can get a little bit floaty. Ease off and stick to the left. This one's a bit narrow, and there's a few tight turns here, so just give the accelerator a squirt between turns. Flat out off the bridge. Ease off as we go through the park, then feather the accelerator as we follow the path up. Watch for peds too. Be careful cutting corners and you can get a bit of air. Back on it. And ease off as there's a bit of a dip around the corner so you'll lose grip for a moment. Nice wide line, then try to place yourself between the other cars. 
take it easy around the last corner and back on the moment you hit the apex and through with a good five seconds to spare. Finally, the HSW time trial, North Chumash. As always, a few gotchas on this one. We have a bit of a lively start on the dirt. We have to keep an eye on traffic on the highways. We'll need to take it pretty easy when taking the shortcut off the highway. And there's potential issues with grip and trees over the hills while taking said shortcut. We're also going to avoid the final turn by going cross country, but it's um, hairy. Okay, let's do the whole run. I recommend a super bike for this one. And we're on the Pikachu, Hakachi, Ow, Hakachu, um, uh, Hakuchu. Thanks, 11 Labs. And off we go. Bit of over revving here. This is super lively, so take it really easy on the dirt. The undulating surface means the bike is really bright. Just ease off a touch as we head onto the tarmac. There's a bit of a ridge which can loosen up the tail. Then absolutely flat strap. And we want to start smoothing out the lines as much as we can. So where traffic permits, cross over. Make use of the clearways and median lines and big sweeping turns so we can keep that pace up. Ease off as we change road surfaces and round the right-hander. Then back on it and ease off again as we head towards the apex here. As we hit the crest, the bike's grip will loosen a bit as gravity works against us. Dial it back for the right-hander, then gently squeeze the throttle as we come out of the corner, keeping an eye on traffic. Again, easing off just before the apex, then back on it, and as we work our way through the next few sweeping bends, feather the accelerator to keep up the pace without going too hard. Over to the right, ready for the big left-hander, then ease off a bit as we turn in. Use as much of the road as practical and don't be afraid to pip the brakes. Then snap the throttle as soon as you come out of the corner. And as we head towards the city, traffic is going to start getting pretty heavy. So keep an eye on that horizon so you have as much warning as possible. Don't forget the NPCs can be a bit erratic behind the wheel. Keep that throttle locked on full all the way through these gentle bends. No need to ease off at all. And there's the wind farm billboard. So over to the two right lanes. And ease off over to the crest. We'll get a bit floaty here. Might even need to tap the brakes into the left-hander as we hit the on-ramp. And squeeze it back on as you get upright. Back onto the highway and flat strap. Okay, there's the overpass, so our first shortcut is coming up. Hit the brakes and we're off to the right. Watch these trees and terrain. Swing to the right a bit, then over the crest. We'll get airborne, so keep your wits about you. And we want to avoid that gully on the right. Back onto the tarmac and on it again. Now for the hairy bit. Hit the brakes and turn off to the right onto the dirt. We're back onto an undulating surface and that means constant grip changes. Ease right off, then put the bike between the barriers. Over and absolutely trounce that one with a stonking 30 seconds to spare. And thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.